What's up guys? It's Kako Train and I haven't made a video in God knows how long. Um uh, probably don't have any one who follows me anymore, but that's okay. Um I'm gonna stop talking. Zelda's lullaby. Just learned it like a couple minutes ago. It's really hard to play. Standard tuning. <clears throat> my guitar might sound a little different than yours because I have it tuned to 528, which is the love frequency, and it is the shit. If you don't know about it, you should look into it because it sounds great. Anyways, so <clears throat> you may have seen some videos of people playing it the easy way, which is something like. Wait, hold on. Obviously, that's not all there is to it. There's a lot more than that. So I decided to show you guys how to do it the full and extended cool way. Right? Okay, so what we're going to do... So basically, you got the lead, which is the part, and then you got the bass, which sounds like this. Right? <clears throat> so, start off with that part. Because uh, if you're struggling, if you're going to be struggling with that part, you're going to be struggling really hard when it comes to adding in the uh, lead part to it. Because you're going to be playing both at the same time. So, anyways, you put your second and third fingers on the third fret of the sixth and, yeah, sixth and fifth string. And then your first finger on the second fret. Let's get on in here, shall we? You don't need to see my ugly face. All right. <clears throat> so, second, sixth, third, third fret. And then uh, third finger, third fret, fifth string. First finger, second fret, fourth string. So it goes boom, 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 but you don't play it like that. You start, you pluck fifth string, sixth string, fourth string, so like that. All right, and then you move your, you take your first finger off, and then you put your fourth finger on the fourth fret of the fourth string. <laughs> right? So you do that, that's the first two bass notes, so, or bass line notes. goes to this part or that these uh, notes which is your first finger on the second fret of the fifth string open on the fourth string and then second fret second finger of the third string you just play them down like that five four three those are the strings so it goes Right? That's where we're at right now. And then you got this, which is fourth finger or third finger, whichever one you like better, on the uh, <coughs> sixth fret of the sixth string. <laughs> um, like that. And then first finger on the fourth fret of the fifth string. And then open on the third string. And you pluck it like this. So you're gonna go. And 
and then you just move that same thing down one fret each. Same strings you're plucking. Six, five, three. Those are the strings I'm saying. So. And then you're going to hold a... Is it D minor chord or something like that? This chord where, you know, this is your D, right? You just you just flip it the other way around like this. So you got your third finger, second fret, first string, first finger, first fret, second string, second finger, third string, second fret. Ah, I screwed that up. So let's try that again. Second finger, uh, Second fret, third string. There we go. And you're going to play these two strings at the same time with your thumb, kind of like a chord, but not at all. Kinda like a power chord when you play this part. And that's the uh, third and the fourth string, fourth, fourth and third. And you go. So, without the beginning part, it goes... Forgive me, I just learned this, so I'm not very good at it. Because <clears throat> it is challenging to play. You're going to get frustrated. Anyways, so when you play it all together, it'll sound hopefully not as shitty as this, but something like this. And you do the same thing again, except for you add the lead part in, which sounds kind of like this. It's hard to play. Yeah. So anyways, uh, that part basically... Nope, nope, that's not right. So you go, uh, so remember that first shape I showed you? And then it goes to that one. Right? That first shape. So hold that. <clears throat> and when you played it, you went five, six, four. Those are the strings I'm saying. Five, six, four, right? With your picking hand. Five, six, four. Nope, that was three. Five, six, four. But when you play the fifth string, when you play five, you are going to pluck the second string with your second or third finger at the same time, like this. So it'll go. See what I'm saying? Whoops. So your thumb is playing these two strings the sixth and the fifth, and your second finger is playing the fifth string, right? And then your first finger is playing the third and fourth string, depending on how you want to do it. Finger picking can go any number of ways, so it looks like this. That was the wrong string. just kind of keep that same pattern in mind throughout the thing. You just got to kind of maneuver it and use what fingers feel more comfortable for you. Anyways, and so after that you go bing, bing, and then you hit the third fret of the second string with your pinky right in there. You can barely see it. Bing! Right there. See? What, 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 what? There we go. But with all the other crap, you want to hold that all there right there. So it's like and at this point you can take your first finger off of the second fret of the fourth string so you go 
Bang, dong, bang. And then pull that bad boy off and hit the pinky on that third fret of the second string. Bing! Just by itself, that part, that time, so. And then you're gonna go. So what you're, what you're gonna do for that part is you're gonna take your first finger off of the second fret of the fourth string and put it down one string. So it's on the second fret of the third string. And that is going to become your, that is what the lead part is. So, right. So, <clears throat> for that part, you play the, God, this is hard to explain. There's so much to it. Um, the fifth and the third string at the same time, thumb and pointer finger. thumb and third finger or second finger it's up to you I usually go for the thumb and second finger it just feels nicer for me it's preference though it's all about your preference so same same pattern with your fingers kind of except for instead of hitting the second string with your second finger while you're plucking the, the fifth string with your thumb like that you're going like that, right? Playing that note, which is again the second fret on the third string. <clears throat> God, I, you probably are so confused right now. I'm sorry. Uh, and then you put your pinky on the fourth fret of the fourth string. Fourth finger, fourth fret, fourth string. Remember? So you should already know how to do this part. Whoops. Basically, the only difference is you're adding in those lead notes, right? It's so hard to play. Yeah, dude. I don't know why I'm making a video for this. The the like within the hour of what I when I learned it but whatever you know you got to get a jump on it you we're learning together we're learning together right okay so um anyways let's try that again so it's confusing it's really confusing I'm just gonna show my picking hand because you've already been looking at my fingers enough so maybe this will help maybe not who knows nope so confusing Okay, this is just painful. I'm not going to make you watch this. Anyways, just work on that for now, and I will do the same. And I'll have a video of me playing it a lot more fluently and nicely and better soundingly, and probably easier for you to learn and understand. Um, in the meantime, you can watch this video uh, that I learned it from. The guy doesn't tell you how to play it, I just learned by looking and listening. Uh, it's called Zelda's Lullaby, played on classical guitar, and it's a dude with long hair, and it's pretty awesome, and he's crazy, and he's it's good. So um, just you can watch him and listen to what he plays, so that you know and memorize the sounds, uh, and then we'll come back and we'll learn the remainder of what I have not taught you next time. All right, thanks guys. See you later. <laughs>